All right, guys. Well, I live uh, about, I don't know, an hour and a half from here up in New Philadelphia, Ohio. So pretty close to a lot of you guys around here. I've done a lot of fishing around here myself. And I can relate to fishing in Ohio. Um, I know we have about 10 bass. We all know them by name. We all go out every Tuesday night and on a Sunday and try to catch them all and bring them back into weigh in. Um, so I wanted to discuss some techniques that works for me locally here in Ohio that I feel like if there was one thing I had to do to catch bass in tournaments to com be competitive or just go out and fun fish, it's flipping and pitching pretty well from the time the ice comes off to the, ice, you know, to the water hardens again. Um, so there's, I, there's just a lot of different things about my flipping. I'm sure a lot of you guys know probably a lot of it, but I'm going to go ahead and cover as much as I can anyway. And what I'm asking you to do, and this is the same with the other guys too, is just it wasn't long ago that I was not fishing the Elite Series. I was just, I just love fishing, just like you guys. I'd be sitting there in a the classroom right now. Um, the one thing I can say looking back on it, I always was researching all the time, always on the internet, always looking at videos. And I'd sit there and watch a video for 10 minutes and go, oh my gosh, I know everything this guy's saying. But I'd sit there and watch it because I'd, so what I started to learn was I might watch it for 10 minutes and he might be one thing he says, one little tiny thing that I pick up on that ends up allowing me to succeed in a tournament or change my style a little bit for the better. You know, I, some people say, oh, I don't need to do that. I don't need that heavy line or I don't need to do this or I don't need to tie that knot or whatever. Well, why don't we just all throw beetle spins then? <laughs> I've caught bass on a beetle spin, right? They'll be like, oh, I've caught so many bass on this, doing it this way. Just throw a beetle spin. Beetle spin will catch them, you know? But I want to find out little tiny little better ways in a tournament, uh, not even fish on a national level, or even just fun fish, I want to find the best way to do it to eliminate as many variables as I can to be the best that I can, right? So there's a little piece of information. It's funny, I'll tell a quick story before I get into this. Uh, what I mean by little bits of information, I was watching several of the Bassmaster shows just before I even fished the Bassmaster Opens to qualify for the Elite Series. And I remember uh, Greg Hackney was up in New York and he was catching them flipping the grass. And I remember he switched over to a tube. He wouldn't, they wouldn't bite the jig, he flipped over, switched over to a tube and he started catching them. Well, on the final day, I ended up having to be ninth place to make the Bassmaster Elite Series in that event. And I was in the top 12, and I had one or zero, no, I had one fish with 45 minutes to go to weigh in. I was going to finish 12th. And I remembered, Hackney said to flip that tube. So I reached down, bring me up a tube, 45 minutes, I put like 13 pounds in the boat, finished ninth place. And that's what I mean by just little bits of information. You spend hours and hours and hours and you think it's worthless and you're wasting your time. There's that one part that, you know, could eventually change your life if you're, you know, trying to pursue it for a career, just, you know, win the club. The technique itself, this is a very broad technique where we're going to get into as much stuff as I can and you guys can talk to me as long as you want to stay here. I'll talk with you guys tonight. We can talk about whatever you want. But let's first introduce the technique. Um, what is a flip? Okay, flip, basically, I'm going to get out a desired, a desired amount, that's not good, uh, desired amount of line where I feel comfortable, say if I'm going down a stretch of bank and I'm flipping bushes or I'm flipping lily pads and I'm being repetitive, I'm going to lock my reel into gear and I'm going to go down and just dob the bait, maybe hop it once or twice and just go down the bank. And this is something that's repetitive because I can't really vary my distance a whole lot. I can't go too far away from me. I mean, obviously I can go a little bit shorter, but it's pretty well you're stuck within that 20 foot range. Uh, so that's the flip. It's always locked into gear, but I want to say 90% of the time, I want to be doing what, what you call a pitch, and that's basically an underhand cast. Um, a lot of guys like to grab the bait. Um, I, I get to the point anymore where I don't like to grab it. I feel like if I'm in a flipping tournament, if I'm just flipping in a tournament in general, I want to make more flips than the next guy. That's in my mind. Once I dial in what them fish are doing, I want to be accurate, and I want to be fast, and I want to be efficient because if I can make more flips than the next guy beside me, chances are I'm going to come in with more weight or more fish or have the opportunity to present that bait. A lot of times flipping is a reaction bait. I want to present that bait to him as many times as I can throughout the day. And if I can get 50 more flips in a day than the next guy, I feel like I've got a better shot. So that's the pitch. Um, underhand, I used to, whenever I was a little kid, before I started motocross racing, I was part of the Bassmaster Casting Kids. And that's where I learned this uh, technique at a very young age. And I actually, at the time when I was younger, I liked to reel. Um, actually, I'm sorry, I, I always had to switch up with my flipping. I would actually pitch with this arm, then I have to switch over. And I don't know if any of you guys are still doing that today, but I'd pitch with this arm, and every time I'd flip in, I'd have to switch over. So what would happen is, if you're flipping as fast, if you're in my boat, and you're trying to, my buddy used to do it, my team partner a couple years ago used to do it, he would flip with the wrong hand, and I'd have the trolling motor on 50, we'd be flipping bushes, and I'm just going down through there, hitting every bush, bouncing the bait in, letting it fall to the bottom, hopping once or twice, back out, back in the next bush. He's back there switching hands, snagging you know, branches, and he, he gets so frustrated all the time. I said, dude, you just got to learn to switch up. I don't know what to tell you. We got to go. We got fish to catch, right? 
So even if you are stuck in your ways, you think, oh, you know, I can catch a bass. Well, I can, you know, I can catch a bass on a beetle spin too. Try to learn how to flip with the, you know, the correct hand so you don't have to switch over all the time. Another thing too, if you flip into a bush and that fish eats it and you're caught switching your hands, she might get you under that tree and you're never gonna get her back out. So you wanna be ready at all times. So learn to flip, you know, and, and that way you don't have to switch hands. So that's pretty much it on the uh, pitch. I hope you enjoyed the preview clip. And for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. If you want to become a better angler, you want to catch more and bigger bass at your local pond, then check out Bash University TV for hardcore bass fishing information. Hey, I'm Pete Kluzek. And I'm Mike Iaconelli. And this is Bash University TV. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Everywhere I go in the country, I'm trying to use these techniques because I catch big fish that way. From on the water to in the classroom. We want to use that bait to help make that area even smaller and really, really find that sweet spot. You'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. You want something that's got a nice limber action that's going to allow you to build pressure and keep those hooks pinned against that fish's mouth. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Hold on, because you're going to catch some big <laughs> fish. Information is power in the sport of fishing, so learn from the very best. That's a key theory in all of fishing. Subscribe to Bass University TV today. Man, does it trigger a lot of strikes. Here's the part that you're not going to hear anywhere else. This is the Bash University TV exclusive.